A state of emergency declared in U.S. territory by the governor there. And the earthquake causing extensive damage to areas left vulnerable by Hurricane Maria. NBC6 anchor Shelly Muniz is live in the city of Ponce, some 15 miles east of the epicenter and where one person died. Shelly. Joanne and Jackie, I'm at a school that is now a refuge for dozens and dozens of families here in Ponce, Puerto Rico. And it's just after midnight here, and you can see families are just trying to rest as much as they can amid the uncomfortable accommodations, the crowds, the barking from the pets around, and the fear that more earthquakes could strike overnight. Families from across Ponce, from the youngest, furriest to some of the most vulnerable. Sleeping in a school, whether in the courtyard or classroom, cot or car, bracing for the worst, praying for the best. Joanna Morales is one of those families. You have sleeping bags in your car that you're ready to take out, and plus your daughter has one already. The mother of three had to leave her coastal home, the tsunami zone, with her children, parents, and pets. Estás preocupada? No. Yo estoy bien tranquila. No, I'm very calm. But Tuesday morning was another situation. A 6.4 magnitude quake rattled her home and her nerves. There are damage in Ponce. People don't feel secure. And here they will feel more secure. The mayor of Ponce said despite an island-wide blackout, the school has generators. Her town is still recovering from Hurricane Maria's wrath in 2017. Now earthquakes that have shaken families since before the new year. Tuesdays claimed the life of a 73-year-old man and injured at least nine people. Uh, right now, they, they understand that this, this is totally different uh, response as a hurricane. Most everything is closed in the city. No power, no food, but there is faith and plans in case another quake strikes. So if something happens, you're going to put all the children who are here in the playpen. Because the scariest part is not knowing when they'll be rocked again. And we do understand the city of Miami Fire Rescue is now heading to the island to assist. This is a multi-agency operation, and really it's a waiting game as people are trying to stay calm and rest as much as they can. And I'm going to take you through this refuge tomorrow morning on NBC6 Today, so we hope that you'll join us for continuing coverage as we watch every single day out here. In Ponce, Puerto Rico, Shelly Muñiz, NBC6 News.